Welcome to Everything About Web. I'm Jamie Cavanaugh, and this is the Basics of HTML tutorial. So what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it is the predominant markup language for the web. It is basically the elements and the tags that are the basic building blocks of all web pages. So to start out learning HTML, I'd like you to write down and memorize, yes, memorize the four basic tags that I'm going to talk about right now. The very first tag, so write this one down, is called the HTML tag. And the HTML tag basically indicates the start and end of an HTML page. The second basic tag is called the head tag. And within the head tag um, can, is a lot of really important information. One of the pieces of information is the title tag, which we'll talk about a little bit later. The meta tags, meta tags are important for search engine optimization. The CSS link, and CSS um, stands for cascading style sheets and will definitely be something that you'll learn more about. And also the scripts for the page or links to the scripts. The third basic tag is the title tag. And as I mentioned, this is um, important. It, it is contained with, uh, within the head tag. And it is what titles the page. So it's really important to have your pages titled. Um, it also um, is important for search engine optimization. The fourth basic tag is the body tag. And within the body um, tags are the, vi the visible portion of the page. So it's a very important part of the page. So the four basic tags are the HTML tag, the head tag, the title tag, and the body tag. So here's base, what a basic HTML web page looks like, what the code looks like. And you can see the four basic tags are used here. So the very beginning of the HTML page starts with the op what's called the opening HTML tag. And then at the very end of the page is the um, closing um, HTML tag. So the only difference between this opening and closing is that the closing tag has that forward slash. So between the HTML opening tag and the closing tag, you'll see that we have the opening and the closing head tag. So um, the head opens and closes and sits on top of the body or above it. So we've got our opening and closing body tag right below our opening and closing head tag. Between the opening and closing head tag, we've got that title tag. Um, so this is a very simple, basic web page. We don't have meta tags in here or your CSS link or anything else yet. Um, but we do have our title tag, which is um, titling the page, really important. And then within our um, opening and closing body tag, we have some text. And this is the visible portion of the page. So we'll see in a, a couple minutes that this is the text that would actually appear in the browser window. So let's talk about the anatomy of HTML. So um, here is our title tag. And we've got a opening um, title tag here and a closing title tag. Most HTML tags have both an opening and a closing tag. Not every, every tag, but most of them do. Um, and as I mentioned, the, what's different about the closing tag is it has this forward slash. Sometimes the opening and closing tags are referred to as starting and ending tags. But some tags have no closing tags. 
and some have attributes. Um, you'll see here with our image tag that we've got a value for the attribute, which is inside of these um, quotes. So the value for this is um, images slash cat dot jpeg. So the way you could read this is that we have an image source and which is this cat.jpg image which is in our images folder. And some tags have opening and closing tags and attributes. So here we have the ahref um, that has a opening tag and a closing tag and we've got a value here uh, this www.abc.com. So the way you could read this tag is that this ABC text right here would be hyperlinked so when you clicked on it it would open up this website www.abc.com. So let's talk about some additional HTML tags. And there are um, several, so these are tags that you're going to want to become more familiar with. I've not um, included them all, but I have some here that you would use to create style and structure for your web page. So um, there's a tag to create line break, paragraph, bold text to create italic text, to create page headings, lists, the div tag, which is this last one here, um, helps you format your page. There are also HTML tags that um, will create links on your web page. So we talked about this very first one, which um, will display an image in your page. There um, are also tags that will link you to another document tags that will link you to an anchor in the current document that you're in, uh, a tag that will link to an anchor in another document. So um, notice here the second one would link you to um, the document or called about.html. This fourth one would link you to that same page about.html pound top, which would mean it would um, go to your anchor point that is named top. And then finally, this last one is um, creating a link to email. So words of wisdom for you. I suggest that you find an HTML cheat sheet resource online and study the HTML tags. Become really familiar with the tags. Another really good suggestion is to study other designers code to become more familiar with HTML. And I'll show you in just a second, it's really easy to view source on any web page in a browser and it's a good idea to look at this source um, to again become more familiar with HTML. And the last, um, my last piece of advice is to practice, practice, practice. It's something that really, um, as you spend more time with it, you will develop stronger skills in writing and understanding HTML. So let, let's just take a couple minutes and I wanna do a demonstration for you. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna use text edit. So I'm not going to use an HTML editor like Dreamweaver or any of the other um, HTML editors. I'm going to just use a simple text editor. And um, you could also, if you're on a PC, you could use Notepad. Um, with text edit, I have to be careful to set my preferences. So um, I wanted to show you that. So if you're using text edit, go to your preferences. And um, notice there are two little tabs here. Under New Document, make sure that you have selected plain text. I'm going to give you a second to write that down. So under New Document, select plain text. And then under Open and Save, make sure you've checked off Ignore Rich Text Commands in HTML Files. 
okay? Basically what that does is it makes text edit a simple text editor rather than it um, creating rich text documents. So after you've set your preferences, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my files. Um, hopefully you have um, watched the other tutorial called File Organization where I talk about how to um, set up your files. So I'm going to create a parent folder and then within that parent folder I'm going to create my um, structure for the rest of my files. So I'm going to have a final web folder. I'm going to have a source file folder and then within final web I'm going to have my images folder. Okay, So I'm going to do that right away. I do that big small project doesn't matter. Um, get in the habit of always doing it right away. So now that my files are set up, I can go ahead and um, save this um, page that I'm starting in um, TextEdit. So I'm going to call this index.html and I'm going to save it in my um, folder called Final Web. And I'm going to call it index.html because that is the file that the server will recognize as the home page. And you know, normally when you start building a website, you do start with the home page normally. So I'm going to call that index.html. It absolutely has to be called that. It can't be called home.html or it can't even have a capital I. It has to be all lowercase index.html in order for the server to recognize it as that very first file to be read. So um, TextEdit is just going to confirm with you do, you, do you really want to use HTML? I do, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just get started um, with uh, writing the code for a basic HTML page. So my very first tag is my HTML tag. So I'm going to start with an opening HTML tag and then a closing HTML tag. And then I have my opening head tag oops, and my closing head tag and my opening body tag and my closing body tag. Okay, and I'm just creating some spaces between my tags. Honestly, it doesn't, um, the server doesn't care whether there are spaces or not, but I care as the person who has to edit this HTML. I want to keep it, again, sort of well organized and easy for me to read and to edit. So I'm going to create a title by creating an opening and closing title tag. And so um, what we'll see in just a second is that this basic HTML text is going to show up in the um, title of the browser window. And then between my um, body, my opening and body tag um, will be the visible portion of the page. So I'm going to put some text in there. So this is the text for my web page. Okay, so that's actually going to show up in the browser. We'll see that in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And um, I'm going to view this in a browser. So I'm going to just drag my, you notice I'm, I'm selecting my index.html. I'm just going to drag it and open it up in Safari. And notice two things. Notice up on the top, this basic HTML is showing up as my title. And then also notice that the text is showing up in my, um, in my browser. So that's the visible portion of the page. So if I go up to view and go down to view source, which is going to show me the source for this page, notice that I can see 
the HTML that I just typed into TextEdit. This is the basic structure of all web pages. So the browser can read this. Um, it is written correctly. Um, it won't read it correctly if you forget to close your tag or if you have um, any kind of typo with your tags, the browser will not be able to read your page. So you need to be um, very precise with your coding. So let's make a change to the page to see what happens. So I'm going to add, um, let's say I wanted my text to be bold. I'm going to add a tag, um, the strong tag, which is what will bold the text. Okay, and you hopefully have no noticed in um, one of my previous slides, one of the HTML properties, um, or sorry, one of the HTML tags is strong. So my opening and closing strong tag will make this text bold. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now I'm going to open up this index.html and here rather than dragging it I'm just going to click on it and open up Safari. And notice now my text is bold. So by just changing my HTML I can affect um, how my page is displayed. So again if I go down to view source which is under view and um, you can find view source on any browser. There's some, you know, located in different places depending on the browser. But um, make sure that you do view your source and view source of other pages. It's really good um, for studying HTML. And here we can see the code and the addition of that strong tag that I just added. So that's basically how HTML works. Obviously it can get much more complex and will get more complex as you keep studying, but that's the basic um, idea of how to create the basic structure of an HTML page and how to view it in a browser. Thanks for watching Everything About Web. Please visit us on the web at www.everythingaboutweb.com and also on YouTube and Twitter.